What's up guys, it's Track. it's 2023, and we've got a first look at the new Nerf Dino Squad Tarot deck. And this is cool, just because I genuinely believe that the Nerf Dino Squad line is one of the best things Hasbro's done. It's not an additional property, it's not something like outside of their brand. This is them creating genuine, funky, cool dinosaurs, designing around kind of a, almost like, it reminds me of like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, where they do the, the dino versions of those, and I'm, I guess not connected enough to know enough about that, but that's definitely what it evokes, at least in me. And I think that it's got really good design language across the board. And I think that dinosaurs and Nerf blasters are a match made in heaven. So this one set me back 22 bucks at Target, and I'm just stoked that they're making more of them. I think that the Rex Rampage was a really solid uh, pickup the year that it came out. And uh, this is no exception. I think that pterodactyls are really cool. I think that this is a, uh, a neat look at one. We'll release it from its cardboard shell here. Comes with 12 darts, which is uh, quite generous given that it looks like it stores eight in the back. And I believe it has a four dart uh, Smart AR up front. So assuming that they all work, that's pretty, pretty cool. Ooh. It's got relatively good mechanical feedback. Let's get it loaded up and... All right, so fully loaded up, you've got the saddle in the back here. The inbuilt dart storage holds eight elite darts and then you've got a pump action thing here going on it's interesting that it's got this like the the pterodactyl's head comes up like this and then behind it are iron sights i don't know if you guys can see that there the iron sights are completely obscured from the front profile along with the front pip so it's like it has sights in theory but actually not at all the overall coloration of the blaster is pretty good and in a great change of pace you've got paint on both sides, at least in the form of the Dino Squad logo, it's painted on both sides, which is actually really nice. Why they didn't do the Nerf logo while they were in there, I have no idea, but those are two separate pieces, so go figure. Anyway, it is a Ford Art Smart AR pump action kind of blaster. It's a little small for me, given that it's designed for younger foam flingers, but there is real concavity to the multi-part stock, which is something that I like in products, and uh, Hasbro doesn't always get right. So shout out to that, even though I wish it was a little bit further extended. In terms of the actual pump grip, it's uh, pretty good. It's got a good sort of a uh, backstop here. It auto retracts, which is always nice. Just fired two darts for some reason, but the two shots that went off without a hitch were pretty good. So let's load this up again. Something about this Ford Art Smart AR system that they've been using, just it seems like I, I never get a good one. There's always something wrong with them. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right, and we'll load it up one more time before we take it outside and put it over the chronograph for you guys. But let's uh, find out real quick, and it shouldn't, but maybe it does not have slam fire. Not bad. Not bad, Pterodax. Let's take it outside and see how far it flies. Whew. We got appropriately jungle weather for our Pterodax Dino Squad review. Again, just overall impression of the blaster is that the back end is a little too wee, but the front end really captures the dino vibes. I love uh, the use of, uh, I guess, teeth and snarl and jaws as the muzzle of the blaster. I just think that that's really cool. It's very frequently implemented on hand guards in real steel world in a way that I really like working with. But right now we're talking toy and we're talking 62 feet per second, 49 from the second shot, 60 from the third one, and then 46. So, uh, in true Smart AR fashion, some of them are pretty good. Some of them are kind of weeny. However, overall, the thing that is worth noting is that uh, it's inconsistent. And I just think that that's a constant in Smart AR world. I really wish that this had a rotating barrel. I think that it would be much cooler, although it would probably have to open up the profile a little bit. One thing worth noting as an advantage to a blaster like this is that it is very slim and there's not really anywhere that it would snag. Now, you really only have one bandolier attachment point here at the base. I'm not entirely sure that the Teradax is the tactical powerhouse you'd wanna carry into HVZ battle, but if it was, it's not gonna snag on any of your attack gear at least. Let's uh, put a few down range at this target, see if we can get any on target. We are firing the elite darts that the blaster came with. So, a little high. Nope. Hey, corner shot from the last one. So that's not bad. Let's uh, throw one more volley in there and see how it goes. The timing of this is always gonna be pretty consistent. So if this was your primary, you would get really good at 
figuring out like if it's clockwise or how they uh, how they go around. But let's uh, put a few more down range. Nope. And again, the fourth shot was the best, pretty dead on. But uh, overall, I think that this one fits into the category of if you really like dinosaurs and you're in the market for a four shot smart AR blaster, this is a sweet pickup. Its mod potential is very, very low, so much so that we will not be doing a guide for it. But overall, I'm a big fan of the Dino Squad line. I think that it's a really good direction for Hasbro to be taking. In the past, I've pointed out that uh, Hasbro doesn't seem to be super performance interested or focused. We'll find out more as Nerf Ball comes out if that's uh, subject to change. But in the meantime, it is nice to see them do the thing that they do well, well, which is fun, bright tie-ins, clearly designed and marketed as toys. So uh, in that spirit, I think that this one's a home run. If it's not for you and you're the enthusiast blaster uh, consumer, then uh, obviously it's not for you. But overall, I think that it's cool. I like it a lot. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, bell, blah, 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 drag out.